Hello everybody, 11 months on tea today, I got a haircut, and I have been trying to make a video uh, this month where I kind of talk about gender and what it means. That though, that is very difficult, near impossible. Um, what I just did was I tried to just talk for like 30 minutes straight and then edit the footage into something that made sense, but that did not work, so what I'm doing now um, and what I've done for, like, the past, uh, five or six or seven takes is attempt to just kind of distill that all into a single take video. Bam. So, what is gender? Um, number one, it's not biological sex. That kind of has nothing to do with it. Um, obviously, because trans people exist. Um, so, it, that is, I guess, should be a good enough reason for you. It's a good enough reason for me. Bam. So, if gender doesn't have anything to do with your body, then, like, what is it? What is it at all? It, it, I guess, the core of it is ideas surrounding masculinity and femininity. But if masculinity and femininity aren't tied to people's bodies, then what are they tied to? They're tied to, like, nothing? So then, gender exists as a social construct, which means that lots of people kind of all have these ideas about gender, and they kind of follow a trend. They follow the same trend to the point where we kind of know what society expects from people according to their gender. Um, and we don't necessarily agree or disagree with that, but we kind of acknowledge it and know it, and so it affects us. Um, and it affects us even if we don't acknowledge it and we don't know it because we're living in a culture. So, um, how do we deal with that? what we can do is we can kind of try to pick out the instances where we see that kind of social pressure to conform to gender roles. That's kind of how gender manifests itself in a negative way, I feel, is that we have this, these social pressures to conform to gender roles. Um, and lots of people see those. The, the metaphor I use uh, is these little snowflakes. And so, like, snowflakes are actually kind of cool and interesting. And so lots of people think that, that these little, these little intricacies of culture are, are cool and interesting, but they don't realize that they're part of a much larger kind of avalanche of a problem. Um, and when you, when you kind of see how all of the little snowflakes combine, um, into this giant avalanche of a problem, then looking at those little snowflakes become a lot less fun to do. Mm, so that's kind of how I've been thinking about it now. But the good part about gender, um, what I've been finding is that, uh, is this idea kind of, sorry, is this idea of, like, gender identity. Um, so, uh, gender identity, the way that, like, you personally feel, um, uh, in, in regard to masculinity and femininity, I guess, and, like, where you fall in relation to other people, I guess, um, and so why is that good? Because it's, like, a personal thing. Because you can, like, personally define yourself. It's kind of more along the lines of aesthetic. Like, what's your aesthetic? But it's aesthetic with the specific regard to masculinity and femininity. Um, or, the thing is though, or to neither of those things, or, or to uh, something completely different from those things. So it's becoming more and more of a vague term, and I feel like that's a good thing, because it allows people to kind of break apart these, these structures that we have built and that we kind of assume are like natural to to people but are really just enforced by these kind of social norms anyway i've been saying a lot of words i don't know if any of them made sense but i feel like this is at least a little more co coherent than what i had before so we're going with it i hope that everybody had a really good day and i will see you all next time bye